Folks, I'm on another walk. Week after hurting my arm. I'm down at, uh, got the bus to Breen. And I've walked from the Breen area. There's Breen down. And I decided to do a little walk because it's a lovely day. Now, if I'd been all right and hadn't broke my arm and everything, this would have been a sort of day I would have done a long walk. Uh, I had several planned. It's all fall, fallen through because of that broken arm. I can't really risk carrying a rucksack or anything at the moment. So I'm taking it easy, resting my arm as much as I can. And uh, that's all I can do really. Just rest. And uh, that's all you can do. Anyway, it's a nice, it is a nice day. It's the 8th of February 2023. Like I said, a week ago I broke my, arm, broke my wrist, hit my head. I'm all black and blue. Two black eyes. Not quite a broken nose, but they did have to glue it. Um, but I thought, no, get out. Because the weather, you could have a week of pouring rain. You know, you could have a week of... Um, Heavy rain, I've got heavy rain winds. This is a lovely midwinter walk. And it's brighter than yesterday. I've come out two hours earlier. And the buses are back to one hourly now. The, the number 20 is back to hourly. So that's good. That's really good. Yeah, look, people are starting to bring their caravans here now. I think they've got shower and toilet facilities. Um, here. Yeah, I think they have. These little hut things, I reckon are showers and toilets. For, for each caravan's got its own. It's all locked though. What they don't provide for walkers really are, you've got to be, have a really good bladder or hang on as best you can from one village to another. <sighs> These are things that do influence your walk. Uh, they do influence it. Yes, they've got all the plumbing. That looks like a toilet pipe, doesn't it? Outdoor tap. Yeah. This is all relatively new. I watched them dig up and put all the foundations in here. I watched them do that. In a couple of months time we'll be able to do the, more of the river bank here. That's I've never done before. Um, when the birds aren't nesting. These birds that come from another country. I'll take a picture of the plaque when I get to the sluice in a minute. Right, overnight from there. Nice scene. They've all got their own toilet pods and showers. Very posh. It's because they're close to the sewers. It's close to the sewage works, they can probably allow that. Right, we just go over to this gate. Look, England Coastal Path from the 16th of April to the 15th of July only. Um, because of birds roosting there. This um, structure looks chaotic, but it's there for a reason. It breaks up the, the wind so it doesn't... An ordinary fence would be flattened. Right, but not here. They leave a little gap there so you can look down. I did go along a couple of gates a couple of months ago and then I turned back. It was winter, there was no one about, but you're not supposed to. And I don't think that sign was up then. I wish they have toilets here though. 
There's the river axlet that goes to Cheddar. Bring uh, Brent Knoll in the mist. I'll just take a picture. Wait, it's just on. another small video and I'm walking along the Route 33, cycle route. And it's a lovely sunny day. The hills are in the mist, like Crooks Peak and Brent Knoll are in the mist. I can see somebody walking, which they're walking across a field though. There's a little bird there, is that a little robin? Yeah, it's a little robin. Yeah, there's some people coming. Yeah, I don't know if they went across the field. No, maybe they didn't. So anyway, what, what I'm going to do is some, it's just going to be a short video because there's somebody coming. Right folks, right, just another on. small video and I'm walking along the Route 33, cycle route. And it's a lovely sunny day. The hills are in the mist, like Crooks Peak and Brent Knoll are in the mist. I can see somebody walking, which they're walking across a field though. There's a little bird there, is that a little robin? Yeah, it's a little robin. Yeah, there's some people coming. Yeah, I don't know if they went across the field. No, maybe they didn't. So anyway, what, what I'm going to do is some... It's just going to be a short video because there's somebody coming. Right folks, right, it's a beautiful here. day. I've met some really interesting people I've been talking to. And... Uh, I'm having a lovely walk. I've met a farmer. I've met two lovely people who are out on an exploring walk. I've told them to be careful though. Um, so I've just left Bring Sluice. There's the sewage works. And I'm walking along a little bridle path now. Walking along a little bridle path. I'm doing the safe route for me. Normally I go along by the river, but I thought, no, just keep to level. Mind you, you can't trust the pavings, can you? You could trip over that, for example. Do you know what I mean? This, this, this doesn't guarantee you were safe. I was walking in town and fell, just tripping on a stone. So, yeah, I just met two people. I'm a, I am a chatterbox when I'm out, you know. I, I, I do love engaging with people, chatting and that, you know. And uh, they'll be coming, those people I just spoke to back there, I don't know how old they are, they're late 70s or something, or mid 70s, I don't really know. You can't always tell. You can get someone who's old at 50 and looks it, and you get someone 90 and looks pretty fit. You know, it does vary. Right, I'm just coming around the corner. Coming around the corner, let's just zoom in over there. There's the beacon on the hill. Up there somewhere, there's the beacon on the hill. That's it. Someone's gonna pass me, so I'm just gonna put the camera Right, back on again. Right ahead now we've got St Nicholas Church, the old St Nicholas. On the hill, look. There is a green hill far away. It always reminds me of that, actually, that him. When I see the uphill church. It's full of history, that place. There's a lot of history there. It experienced a tsunami. Could have experienced two tsunamis. We're, due, we're overdue a tsunami and there's been two massive earthquakes in Turkey. Um, there, I don't think there's been an Atlantic tsunami for quite a long time. Well, they haven't been here for over 400 years, but the plates must be building up tension. So it's possible that we're 
we could get one. And this place would be flooded, by the way. The church would be probably on a second, third tsunami, would probably be removed. The sea levels have risen. <sighs> yeah, I'm feeling much better now. Um, arm's not too bad. I keep giving it a little rest. I tuck it in my top of my coat and so it has a rest every now and again. But I've met an interesting farmer who knew Michael, uh, no, Martin Vowles, who owned the farm that my sister was um, had a cottage with. Um, and um, so I was talking to him for a while. I was a, a young lady who was walking her dog. We were discussing the development of the caravan parks. And of course I brought, sometimes I've mentioned me arm because they noticed me bruised face. If you see what I mean, you can't really hide it. And um, so I'm walking along, trying to be c c careful. Uh, the couple I met should start walking along the top there in a minute. They could even catch me up. In fact, I can see them. They're walking quite fast. <sighs> they won't have much of a walk if they just do that bit. Yeah, they're walking quite fast. Faster than what they looked when I saw them earlier. Yeah, because she's got the white coat on. They got a little type of Jack Russell type dog. I normally walk that way. I sometimes, in the drier months, go down t towards the river as well. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying this walk. I said, got to keep an eye not to strain the uh, wrist too much. So I need to put it inside my coat. Again, and rest it a bit. Just rest it. Rest the wrist. Doing a bit of exercise, mild. Won't be such a shock. But it, I mean, it is. It aches. It's bruised. It's battered. And and it does hurt as well. I mean, your body responds when it. You're trying to pull your trousers up using these fingers. Turn off now, somebody. Over and out. This is a. Uh, I've been up here many times up here. That's relatively new that way in. I've cycled up. I used to try and cycle. I never ever cycled up all the way. I used to try and get. There's a bit of paper on the ground just in front there. I used to try and get to somewhere like that. And I used to push my bike up the rest of it. But I used to like cycling down it. Yeah, one that many years ago, really, ten years, a good ten years ago, I was really into cycling. I did a lot on my bike. I'm glad I'd done it. I won't be going out on the bike at the moment with this uh, wrist thing. But uh, I need a lighter bike anyway. My bike is very heavy. So, might be time to think about getting another one. I'd... I've got to carry it up the stairs though, see? That's the trouble. Well, I was strong and much, much fitter ten years ago. I think I seem to have aged strength-wise in the last four years. Since I moved to this property, really, for some reason. Um, I just feel it. I can feel the strength. It's not there like it was. The energy. Um, it's horrible getting old, isn't it? If I f focus in down there, you might be able to see Brent Knoll in the distance there. I'm going to take right, a little picture. video over up uphill. It was only half an hour for the bus. So I thought to myself, well, 
you just as well get the bus back. The bus is uh, arriving at Hutton about now. It's got to turn around and come back. Now if it's anything like the one the other day, yesterday actually, it'd be late. But it doesn't matter. So I've walked over there. There's the sewage works over there. So I walked close to them from Breen Sluice. A nice pleasant walk, a lovely day. I'm not cold. Um, I'll just zoom in like where I can see an abseiler or no, a rock climber. He's got an orange top on. I'll just zoom in a, to where he's been. I took some pictures of him. There he is. Look, he, it looks like he's coming down now. I think he's trying to get past a certain feature, which is, um, see, we, he was doing that a minute ago. Look at these lovely burning bushes that we've got as well. So I thought, oh, I'll do a little bit more. Do you know, as many times I've done this work and I don't share it, I usually save it to disc. Um, I've, I have saved some of them. Especially when I was doing the marshland and walking close to the river. Sure, I just saw that, that couple with a... Maybe they're going to go and have a pub lunch and then walk back. It's quite nice. They park the car up, nice walk back. I just thought I'd do a little bit of video. I don't think the battery will last much longer. We've got the marinas, a few people out camping. Um, it's mild, you see. It's very mild, but it's deceiving. I mean, they said we were going to have um, an Atlantic freeze coming. And uh, we haven't had it. We haven't had an Atlantic freeze at all. We made a big fuss about it and it didn't come. I'm not saying it's not cold in the evenings or anything. Somebody on the other side of the river. I eat quite often when I'm feeling like I've got to be in the mood, I do the river walk as well. But I'm not doing any of that today and I'm hoping to get the bus. I want to get there at least 10 minutes before it arrives, but I'm knowing I might have to wait 20 minutes for it to come. Um, and by now it should be on its, what we call the turn, and uh, it should be making its way from Hutton to Bleeden. Then it has to go to the hospital, then it comes down to Uphill Wharf, where I am. I'm just going to check the time now. I'm just going to check the time. Yeah. At the moment it's supposed to be at Hutton School. And it's supposed to be at the hospital, at here, by... Um, where it says three minutes past the hour. All the boats moored up. And I can remember when there was a massive boat here, and then the bloke was told to leave because I don't know if he didn't pay his rent or something to dock, but uh, he ended up parking it up a tributary of the River Axe. I can't see it at the moment, but it's probably around the corner there, unless it's been moved with the high tides. They might have got around to moving it, but it used to take up this space here. Great big boat it was. Look like a lovely houseboat. Now up there on St Nicholas Church we've got the Ukrainian flag flying high next to our St George flag. There we go. The Ukraine war is still going on of course but this devastating earthquake and follow-up tremor has um, 
killed so far a minimum of 5,000 people. Squashed like pancakes. Squashed. In their beds asleep, a lot of them were. So it happened in the night. So it killed loads of people. They wouldn't even know, probably. Hopefully they didn't. Although the shaking might have woke them. Apparently it was violently shook for three whole minutes. So somebody could have woken as their home started to shake. And then that was it. Over. And it's freezing weather. It's, free it's snowing. It's raining. So... Yeah, terrible. And that particular area, I haven't seen a quake for 100, 200 years. This is the sort of place I'd like to have camped when I, when I was lucky enough to have that sort of thing. I miss my van. I miss the adventure, the freedom going off on the road. I miss it. But it doesn't mean I won't do it again. Oh look, there's a heron. Oh no, a snowy egret. Snowy egret just down there, look. Pottering in the mud. Yeah, you never know what comes up. I was planning to get a little car. But I might delay it for another year. I don't feel ready actually anyway. I don't feel ready for well, now physically and then I don't feel ready. I just don't feel ready yet. Um, I thought I would, but time's come around so quick. Tell the truth, time has come around so fast. And I'm not prepared. I mean, normally I've got all the maps prepared, the routes, everything, and I just haven't got around to it. It's, I'll tell you one of the reasons for that is because of the economic situation at the moment that we're going through. I, found, I didn't give anyone Christmas presents because I was saving for this trip. Either craning in or craning out. Bit of activity at the Marine Lake. Right, that's sure enough now folks. Just one more look round. Nice little boat there, the Union Jack. It always reminds me of the Ocean Youth Club days in Plymouth when I was 17. On the high seas. And I've had some good adventures, you know. And sloops. I, think like, I can't remember how big it was now, a bit bigger than that one there though. 
Yeah, it was good times. Sailing up the English Channel over to the Channel Islands, down to Cornwall and Devon. Look at that old thing. Someone would put that in their garden of it as a giant flower pot, wouldn't they? This is where they come and fix things here. When they repair their boats, get them ready for the high seas. Look, that one's for sale for £895, look. This dog there passed away. Somebody lives in that one. <sighs> right over now, it's 